well for the first time, and, and stylism came into play, you know, where it was basically a fundamental foundation instrument in the past. But that's where James Jamerson comes in, because he's probably one of the first bass players you will ever hear take it from a foundational aspect of a repeated ostinato line that's lined up perfectly with the kick drum and push it into the stratosphere as not only a harmonic element, you know, along with a vocal, but also something that has an arc across the whole song. A lot of that R&B music, the parts are simple. The things that are complicated are the vocal melodies and Jameson's bass lines. So he has an arc that runs across a whole song and there will always be a section in the middle of a song, even something like what's going on where he begins to propel the song. You know, he'll subdivide the notes and push it a little bit. Um, you could never hear that before him. You just didn't hear it. You heard drums, you heard voice, you heard that good old tape delay slapback on the vocals. You heard the sound of the room it was recorded in.